our holiday barkada get together, we had a last minute change of venue to this newly opened branch of Jiangnan Hot Pot located right across from Robinson's Magnolia. FYI, this restaurant used to be the BDO Aurora Boulevard Hebadi branch, and right beside it is the Gilmore Korean Mart. I've passed by here the last couple of days and was pleasantly surprised to learn that they already started operations on December 20. That being said, bear in mind that this resto is at the soft opening stage. I was able to make reservations for Thursday dinner earlier that same day for 8 p.m. Our party was seated immediately, so I would recommend making the most of their holiday schedule by going at off-peak hours because they are open 24-7 until December 31. This is the layout of the first floor with a side station by the wall for drinks and ingredients for the hot pot sauce. We were seated on the second floor by the window and here's another look at the side station. The table is set up with a built-in hot pot induction cooker and an exhaust fan for the grill which will come in the form of a tabletop portable stove if you choose to avail. The weekday rate is $5.99 from Mondays to Thursdays while the weekend rate is $6.99 from Fridays to Sundays. The only grill option is an additional 300 pesos and since our group is more into soup, we decided to stick to just the $5.99 hot pot only option. Next time na yung grill. We also had a 3 year old child with us who was able to dine free of charge. The order form looks like this since it's an order all you can type of restaurant. You get 2 hours to complete your meal, there are free refillable drinks included but there are other beverages like soda or alcoholic drinks that you can order for a fee. Also note the premium items like cheese balls and shrimp that you'll have to pay extra to get. We got pitchers of water, orange juice, and plum juice with the plum having a tartness while still tasting sweet. Don't worry, it's not like you're drinking champoy or kiamoy. It actually reminded us a little bit of grape juice but more tart. This is the Chiangnan Signature Sauce which is their take on the satay hot pot sauce. You can request for the service staff to make this for you, but if you prefer your own custom blend or you want to adjust the original sauce flavor, here is the sauce station with interesting additions like chicken sauce and XO sauce. These have a lot of chunks and bits to them for added texture. Personally, I did make the most of the sauce bar since I found the signature sauce a little sweet, so I added more savory flavors in there. If you're enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to support this channel. This was our first round of orders, lots of mushrooms, filled and regular bean curd, wide noodles, and handmade noodles. Because we weren't in the mood for anything spicy, we opted for the original soup on the right and the much earthier mushroom soup on the left. You can see that the flavoring ingredients are the real deal with goji berries, red dates, and a variety of mushrooms. And I was told by my friend that the tomato soup is like sirigang. I actually prefer the original broth for already being tasty as is. It reminds me of masuki soup but with a less fermented aroma. Here's my customized sauce after mixing everything together. I made sure to add more garlic, sesame oil, spring onions, and exo sauce. Of course, we also ordered a lot of meat. This is the US beef pork brain for our more adventurous friends. We got fish fillet, quail eggs, bamboo shoot, lotus root, and kelp seaweed. The bamboo shoot is a little tough but I did like the lotus root. And then the fresh beef is the one that looks like sisig with its egg on top. And now for the second round of hot pot for our group of 5 adults. We ordered more balls, osmanthus sausage, mini sausage that tastes like Jollibee longanisa, bean curd skin, and some more mushrooms. Note that the burst balls on the menu are basically filled surimi balls. I like the lobster cake sea urchin burst ball and the lobster balls though everything was generally of good ingredient quality throughout the meats, vegetables, and balls with everything being fresh. We also ordered lamb. That is the one over there, though it was quite fatty and we do plan on returning next time. Please subscribe for more content like this.